What's up, guys? Welcome to a new video. In this video, we're going where else in Luang Prabang? A cafe. And then we're going house hunting. For all of us out there who want to know what the options are for living in this unique city. We're taking a hard left. Martin's already went and got a motorcycle. We're going to enjoy a delicious coffee at another one of the many very cozy cafes. This one has especially good coffee and pastries, but I haven't had anything bad yet here in Luang Prabang, really. We're into the historic zone. So we kind of were before by the riverside. Now we really are. We got Joma, Lao classic Joma. Hello. All the little snack shops. It's silly. It's just gorgeous. What a place to live as a digital nomad. If you are a remote worker, if you can take your work on the road, this is a place you definitely want to consider. Where the heck? He said, cafe, he's got to be here already. Yep. Le Banaton. There he is. Man of the hour. This is the official, the official taste testing of Le Banaton versus who else? Saffron. Marin shall be the judge. <laughs> see what we got here, guys. Sorry, I don't know what these different name names mean, but they all look really good. You can never go wrong with the chocolate pump. If you don't know your breads and stuff, you've never met Europeans, but now I'm Europeans. Take a look at this place. There's a lot of people I don't want to film everybody with how they can see. So we can go. What kind of pastry did you get? What did you get? And I got the almond chocolate croissant. Look how big it is. So it actually is incredibly tasty too though. What was that? Good pastry shops just kept getting to some houses. See what we can get. Rent for long term. If you go on to the Facebook groups, a search in English. When I go and I post in the Facebook groups that are Lao, and I post in Lao, and you get the prices for a two bedroom house, it's around, depending on the size, but around 250 to 350. Now, if you look in English, most of the both things are going to be up around 500 bucks. So, massive difference. Still very affordable for a, a Westerner. Even though things are very cheap on the surface here in Lao, when you really get to know the place, the real Lao prices are even cheaper. Such a nice life for well under $1,000. So if you're considering a place for retirement, you want to come work on a project that you're trying to develop something online, you have your work online, this is a very doable spot. The internet is fast. You can get fast enough internet nowadays, whether that's through an eSIM or locally, however you want to do it, you can get fast enough internet in Lao, no problem. And you can get a visa by giving them your passport and the money to a visa agent and you can get a one year business visa with work permit, totally legal to be working here as a digital nomad for 700 bucks for the year. And you don't have to leave the country to renew it again. So you're good. It's a multiple entry visa, of course, it's standard, you know. So you can come in and out as, as you please. And then your cost of living, Unless you are a very heavy drinker and partier, which even if you drink a lot, it's so cheap to drink it, that you should still be under a thousand bucks. I know people could easily spend more, but you, you would have to honestly be eating only Western food all the time. If you eat Lao food, you're not going to spend a lot of money. Think about it. If you want to do something new with your life, that's a great place. Plan something new. Current people will talk about this before about Lao. 
people use Thailand, Bali as a hub. Lao is ready to be a hub for sure. Come here, work on your projects, and yeah, save some money for sure. All right, that's all. I want to rent some of these cool little cars for a video. Check them out. <laughs> get our Snoopy cars going. Get out there amongst the people. Martine behind us. He is. All right. We're on to the house. See you in a minute. Doing a loop around this little spot. Thought the house was that way. We were continuing on. Straight ahead. How about that for a chariot? VIP chariot. The move. Interesting. Probably just a restaurant. You see the like different ethnic groups have their own restaurants. He's gone. Hey, Leo. Boom. I'm sorry. How annoying. How much is your scoopy? 150. 150. Very cheap. Seven thousand seven dollars. <laughs> nice to meet you. Six dollars. So there's two bedrooms, which is what we're looking for. Let's go look. Very big. Have to buy a few things. Probably need a need a wardrobe in here. The lady. <laughs> it's very interesting. <laughs> this is your kitchen. Kitchen. Put your Stove on here. Put your sink over here. This goes outside. Close from the outside. I'm so curious what we're doing. You can definitely do all of your drying. So it's 75 million for the year. What's that in dollars, Martin? 25 million is a thousand bucks. So, uh, so three thousand dollars. So it's around. 300 bucks a month. It's just a storage room. Killer deal. Needs a little work, but it's a very good deal. You definitely have a garden. You did, they didn't have this in the picture. This should be in the picture. Oh. He didn't want suit. You said, one suit, you say. Huh? What suit? One hot So this is all like kind of shared property. This is his family's property here. So he said he could. Boop, 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 Oh, so it has more rooms. They want to store stuff in there, which have to be negotiated for sure. Because you don't want to do that. You don't want to deal with people coming in to get their stuff, get stuff out of the room you're from a place you're renting. My first rental, one of the biggest problems was you know, them saying, oh, we just come by to take care of the property. When in reality, they're using the property to, just, you know, to live off of. They were farming it. So they're there all the time. And it was not, not a good deal. So you just have to be careful. That's why I never filmed that place because it was a very bad deal. <laughs> so look, hop to the nice beautiful little pool place. Nice little pool for the family to enjoy. Wish for everyone. Barn took a left, I think. So right now we've got about 45 minutes until the next house. I've asked to see it at two. They haven't responded, so. It's a rough plan. But after we looked at this house, we were right in the neighborhood that we want to be in. So the best way to find the place in Lao, anywhere I live, really, is just to go around the neighborhood if you want to live to see if anybody's up. So we'll just wander around this night. It's a storage zone away from where it's all guest houses and stuff and where neighborhoods, regular neighborhoods, houses. I really enjoy this. Maybe not necessarily. Trying to figure out which house to stay in, because that's a big decision. I enjoy. Here we go. There you go. That's how you do it. Now we take a picture of the rental sign. Very loud right here, right across from the car place, though. So. But we'll take a picture. Keep your options open. Wood everywhere. Well, it's not for not for this spot. It's pretty good. Can you hold one corner of this so I can get actually get the number? Can you hold the corner of the folded so I can... Now I can actually look big and spacious there yeah, soon. Yeah, probably like you do it. Here. Oh, that's nicer inside than I would have anticipated, actually. That's much nicer inside than I would have thought. That's actually a very nice option. We are in a very Chinese neighborhood right now. It feels like everything's Chinese right here. 
This is the Chinese shop. Noodle shop right next door. All in market. I've been here about a week and a half, and I already think if you put me on the ground with my bike, I can figure out how to get places already. Obviously, with Google Maps, it's pretty easy, but I mean, without the map. So, why? This is how you end up finding all the hidden gems as well. Wandering around the streets. I really enjoy wandering the streets. Whether it's biking, walking, skateboarding, it's also how you're going to learn the language. How else are you going to learn it unless you're out amongst people? You can learn something from everybody, can't you? Seems like it to me. The lady hasn't answered me. What's this place? We've only stuck to the main road, which isn't going to produce a whole lot. And that's if you want to stay on the main road, too. We found the one, and we're going down another main road. Really, we need to branch off into the smaller little alleyways off the main road. That's where you're going to find places you really want to be renting. Right off the main street, into an alleyway where it's quiet. Something like that. We just passed down in there. That's where they're going to be. Oh, there's one for sale. So probably for rent, too. No, people, money talks. <laughs> you think money talks back home? Sure, or it talks in Lao. Let me tell you. There we go. Now we're talking, Martin. The city is just chuck full of guest houses. You'll notice that around Lao. If you think somebody hasn't already thought about putting a guest house there, then think again. I am going to be positive in this moment and say, okay, this is a little guest house that's for sale. The potential is there. Very nice little outdoor area for seating and all that. There is countless opportunities if you're interested in doing a guest house. Very competitive to business to be in, though. Right away, once you arrive in on this, every other step. Really, I think it's more of a viable business for somebody. You want something different in life. You're going to want to be there a lot. I don't want to be a landlord. A lot of people like the idea of being a landlord. Because there's always something that needs to be fixed. I don't want to have to fish those. Lady, and the people are super happy to say hi here in Lumpurban. I'm digging it. Well, that's going to be a beautiful home. Beautiful home. Hopefully it's a home, not another guest house. Yes. If you're looking to do something, I think, and you know how to do some marketing, guest houses are definitely an option for you. You're going to have to spend your time there. I think it's good. For me, I think if I was just like wanting to stay one place here and left, it's a great option. What is this? It's like an abandoned pool over here. Check it out. You see the big pool back there? I wonder. Not excited to him, but for me. A lot of people, they kind of want to do like the landlord thing out here or open a restaurant. Every other person. Wow. They used to run like a little pool thing. <laughs> this is some sort of school. Barn's killing me. Got me working out. <laughs> this is gonna go online. It should be because you need to see the reality of things. Bye bye. <laughs> Careful. He's telling him to go forward. Oh, Martin's risky dude. That's why it's valuable to know what's going on because he was telling him stop because of the electrical cord and tell him to go forward. You have to be extra careful with this type of stuff because your safety is in your own hands. But nobody's helping you out. Man, that was really cool. I'm really curious about that little place. It looked like it had like a big cement slide. It had a big, like a cement platform. It's interesting. The kids here are so much more friendly than in Vientiane. Uh, Vientiane's great, but people are much more like mean to say hi and be on camera. Martin's got me going up and down these hills. I love these houses on the hills, though. It wouldn't be easy. Who said easy was fun? I don't care. Me living on a hill is totally worth worth it, and I've never... I'm the guy that takes the stairs, so that's what it is. Load my pack up with all the stuff in the market, and I'll bike through the hill. Because living on the side of the hill here, oh, dude, this atmosphere. 